What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. I know it's been a minute since I last uh, did my, you know, the collection um, catalog uh, series here, I guess I can call it. Um, but this uh, continues on here in the NBA room in the Mighty Kingdom. So for for this vid, for, for today's vid, I'm going to get into the China Run jerseys for NBA. Uh, most of them are going to be authentic, but I do have some swing, man. I'll show them to, you know, just to, you know, show the collection. Now, I know I have real, uh, um, you know, um, realized of late that you're having kind of a mix. There's like China run jerseys and there's Vietnam run jerseys. And I don't quite know what the reason is. Shout out to Pistol. I know we were talking about a bit back. Don't know quite what the reasoning for that is. Um, if it's COVID related or, you know, whatever, I, I'm not, I'm not really sure why they, they're starting to go from China to Vietnam or if it's just going to be a mix, but for the most part, uh, these are all from the China runs that they've done in recent years. And I do have to kind of backtrack just for one Jersey here. So I know I showed all the old gold and the legendary racks before, but I just got this one recently from my buddy Big Slim. Of course, big shout out to him. He filmed his uh, um, <clears throat> Slim Pickens Volume 66 in the Mighty Kingdom, his latest vid, so feel free to check that out. But he gifted me this. And in part, he gifted me this because he, he was just tired of me constantly uh, sending him legit checks when I saw this on eBay. Because <laughs> it is a jersey that gets faked. It's hard, at least for me, sometimes to tell if it's legit or not, but this was a legit one that I was not able to get, and he picked it up for me. So I, I definitely appreciate that, fam. Thank you very much uh, to my to my buddy Big Slim. And so we got the Rolando Blackman Dallas Mavericks jersey, the road green from that time period. Really nice jersey. I just always like the font on the name and numbers. 83-84. Uh, and this is a USA. I want to say it's a USA run. Yeah, USA run. So this is that old gold right there. But you got the Dallas 22 on the front and the Blackman 22 on the back. Very cool jersey, and I'm glad to finally have it in the collection. This is one that, that has eluded me for a while. So I got the slim assist on this one. So, <laughs> so again, shout out to you, fam. Thank you very much. I uh, hope everything's going well for you. Um, and let's get into it. It's getting hot up here. So I, I, I didn't want to turn the fan on because otherwise it would hit something. So I'm going to power through these as best I can. So let's get into it. And ironically enough, we start with the Mavericks. <laughs> so, and yes, as I know I always say this in these vids, apologies in advance. Don't blame me for people that are having wallet problems after seeing these jerseys and wanting to get whatever in their, their own collections. I'm not responsible, okay? I'm just, this may aid to it, but it's not responsible for it. So I know King Leonidas and all you guys, Rez, all you guys, j j don't, don't come knocking on my door, all right? <laughs> So anyhow, let's get into it. First off, we got that rookie J. Kidd right there, Jason Kidd. Previous vid, you saw I had the home version, which is the older run. This is the more newer China run. And I say newer. I picked this up some, some years ago during a sale at the Mitchell Ness store. I mean, I've had this jersey for about, goodness, four, five years, maybe six years now. But it is a newer and, and we say the newer China run. The China run stuff started coming out, I want to say, like seven or eight years ago. And it kind of replaced all of those other older runs. The USAs, the El Salvadors, the Koreas, Mexico, you know, all those other places that the jerseys were made. Then they just made them in China. Besides for the wool flannel baseball. The wool flannel baseball will always be made in the USA. Everything else, at least that we know, is China. And I guess now Vietnam. It just is what it is. But... And as I said in the rest of the collection, I'm not one of those, like, haters. You know, there are, there are collectors that won't even touch one of the China Run jerseys. You know, me, myself, it's, 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 more, it's more about the collection. You know, it's, it, it, if I like a jersey, I'm going to get it, wherever it was made. <laughs> now, there are some, I will say this, there are some out there, if, if I know that there's an older run of it floating out there, opposed to the China run, maybe the cut of the older run is better or something. I'm going to lean towards getting the older run. It's just personal preference, and that's what collecting is. 
you know, we all have these big collections or, you know, whatever size collections you have. And there's not two collections that are exactly alike. And there's a reason for that because it's all personality. Your own personality and your own touch is always put into the, to the collections. No matter how large it is, no matter what you're collecting, a part of you is always going to be in that collection. And that's something I think people need to need to remember, you know, sometimes instead of worrying, oh, well, this is made here, this is made there. It's just, it's all personal pre preference. So let's continue on. Another rookie right here. We got the, the German Moses, <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki, same as the J-Kid, that road blue. And then we're gonna keep keep going with Dirk. Got his uh, his home rookie. And I know they made the swing man of this not long ago, but this is the authentic. In fact, I size swapped with with Slim for for this one. I, I had a one that was a little bigger, and he got this one, and then we size swapped. So he he actually has my my old uh, Dirk, the, my original Dirk that I got in the white, the home white. Uh so shout out to uh, to King Leonidas. I know I I I I got the I aided him. I had an assist with the uh, the Tim Duncan that he has in his collection. So here's mine. This is the uh, the '99 Finals. So it's got the Finals patch there. Teme, the big fundamental. And. Next off is a jersey you'll see in a lot of people's collections. We got the the iconic Atlanta Hawks Big Hawk jersey right there, Steve Smith. It's the only Big Hawk and the authentic that Mitchell's Nest done. Of course, they did a Matumbo in the uh, Swingman form. But, of course, the thing about this jersey is just that big logo. It's got the different gradients. got the red to black. Very cool jersey. And I do love me those uh, old Seattle Supersonics jerseys. So you, know, you might remember in my last video I showed that that uh, the old run, the old gold uh, Sean Kemp. So I got the Gary Payton, the road Gary Payton Sonics. And up next, I got that. Finals, Sean Kemp. Of course, the Bulls got him that year in the finals, but this is the home finals. I don't have the road one to this point. I do want to get it, but just haven't gotten it to this point. But this is the home version, so it's got the finals patch. 96 finals. Lost to the Bulls. The Bulls. Team that I know a little about. <laughs> And I'm glad I had a second chance at this. When this originally hit, it was like a Packer Shoes exclusive. And then they re-released it for more, you know, uh, regular retail for Mitchell and Ness. So this is the All-Star 96 All-Star game, Sean Kemp. I was pissed, man, I because I wanted it. And I just didn't move on it quick enough. It was a, like I said, it was a Packer Shoes exclusive originally when this came out. It came with like a package, like different stuff in it. Couldn't get it. So I was glad Mitchell and Ness re-released it for more regular sale some time later. Of course, I jumped on it right then. And this was an oopsie by Mitchell and Ness. So this is the, the alternate uh, Gary Payton. I actually like it this way better because the, 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 the original version of this had the elongated shoulders, but they just made it more like the regular length. They kind of forgot about that, but I like it better this way, so it's not a huge complaint for me, but it's the old Gary Payton. Sonics. And last and not least, last but not least for the Sonic Boom, we got the uh, the rookie Kevin Durant. And it's the only one I have. I don't have the gold alt, and I don't have the white one. I do want to get those at some point, but, you know, I'm happy to at least have this one. KD Rookie. His only year in Seattle, of course, then they moved to Oklahoma City after that. And speaking of Oklahoma City, it's the only, I guess if you want to say authentic or only Thunder jersey that Mitchell Ness has done to this point, the rookie sophomore game, uh, Russell Westbrook. Of 
course, Oklahoma City Thunder represented there in the back. Beautiful jersey. Everything supplemented on there. Very nice. And it's, uh, yeah, the Rookie rookie Challenge uh, jersey from 2009, of course, in Phoenix. And they made KDs as well. Actually, I'm sorry. They made KDs. He was with the Thunder then, too. So they have two of them. The KD is, I believe, the white version of that jersey. Speaking of rookies, there's the Chris Mullen rookie. Shout out to Rez. Holding it down the bay. And all the Bay Area guys in the group. There's that rookie Chris Mullen road jersey. Really like that. Of course, shout out to A-Rock, too. And here's the Mitch Richmond. Warriors with the captain C. Of course, they didn't put the captain C on the swingman versions of the of the Richmond and Hardaway and Mullen, but of course the Authentics they did. So, run TMC, and then I got the C Web rookie. Let's see, I hit the fan even when it's not moving. <laughs> Road Blue, Warriors. And, yeah, probably one of my favorite current players is Steph Curry. I have a lot of Steph Curry jerseys. And, of course, I got the rookie set that Mitchell Ness made. I'm still hoping that either they do or Candyman, he knows who he is, will help me uh, get the, uh, the, uh, the San Francisco Warriors throwback, the gold one from the, his rookie year. I don't know why Mitchell and Ness hasn't made it to this point because they made all these. They made the whole set of rookies besides that one. And I think they also wore, if I'm not mistaken, the style that you just saw on the, the Chris Mullen rookie. I think they wore that in the gold his rookie year too as a throwback, as a, you know, turn, turn back the clock jersey. Hardwood Classics jersey. So Mitchell and Ness, let's get on it. And if you don't, I know who will. <laughs> we got the alternate. Steph, rookie, really like this one. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. So the, the colors is really striking on it. And then, of course, for the trifecta, we got the home. Curry rookie. And, of course, all of them have the Gatorade lightning bolt on the back. Now you saw I have the old run of it, and I also have the current run of it. I mean the Mitch Richmond checkerboard. They're different years, though. They're two different years. Checkerboard, Richmond. Uh, so this one has more of that dazzle twill on the numbers, and the purple is lighter than it is on the older run. This is a 94-95. In fact, I have the old one right here so I can give you the year. As I said, they're two different years. So the original run of this was 97-98. And this is 94-95, the year. So they're two different years. And, they, you know, they're a little different. Now, obviously, it's a newer run, so, you know, whatever. But so some people complain about the checkerboard and stuff, but they're two different years. And I haven't done the research to see if there really was that big a difference in the checkerboard in those years. But it is worth at least noting that the two jerseys that they made for Mitch in the checkerboard, the old run, the new run, two different years. But the old run is better quality. <laughs> but the new run has the Dazzle Twill. The old run does not have the Dazzle Twill. That shine on the for the silver, it doesn't have that. The, the old run, the new run does. China run does. For what it's worth, just thought I'd point that out. And, of course, I got that white chocolate, Jason Williams, the black Kings jersey. Very nice jersey. Again, these are all Authentics. I know they did the Swingmans in some of these, too. But the ones I'm showing you right now are all from the Authentic line. Got the Zoe, Miami Heat. I 
96, 97, so it's got the Go logo. Miami Heat jersey, road. You saw I had the home one. I showed, uh, cause that's an older, older run, so I showed that in a previous vid. I didn't get the red one. I kind of wish I got that red one. You know, it's just one of those jerseys because they made Zoe and they made Tim Hardaway, and I wish I got them because now you, you just you never see them. And it, it, it's just one of those jerseys that I'm like, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it, no problem. And then, of course, now it's like, problem. <laughs> so I may have to enlist the help of uh, Candyman to get those, but, uh, you know, we'll see. But I got the uh, the white chocolate, the finals. I was glad they made this. They made him and Shaq. I still kind of want to get the Shaq. Although I have an authentic Shaq that I want to get the, the logo put, the, the Larry O'Brien put on. So I'm still on the fence whether I want to get the Mitchell Ness Shaq or not, but for the heat. But I got the G. I got the, uh, the white chocolate. I was like Tim. At the University of Florida. Chomp, chomp. I'm a Gator fan, so <laughs> that's my favorite college football team. But um, anyhow, we got the uh, the Charlotte Hornets right here. Zo, I want to say it's a rookie jersey, and I know he came up. He came. He was drafted by the Hornets. It's a 92-93, so I do believe that's a rookie. Lonzo Morning. Shout out to M Diddy. He's a big Hornets guy. I know he's, you know, he used to go to the Hornets games and all back then. He saw those guys when they were Hornets. Here's Muggsy. I got the full set of them. So Muggsy and the, and the teal anyhow. You might also remember I had the road, or the home rather, the home uh, Larry Johnson. So, of course, if I'm going to get the home, yeah, I'm probably going to get the the road too so there's the, there's the the road grandmama right there larry johnson and if i'm going to get the home in the road mostly i'll say not always you know it doesn't always work that way but mostly if there's an alter then i'm going to try to match it up with the alt so there's the pat there's the purple grandmama alt hornets i really like these i know they made zoe and bogues too and I do want to get them at some point. I just haven't at this point, but maybe. Maybe at some point. I know these are kind of newer releases. These came out, I think, a year or two ago. The, the purple ones, the alts. And then I made Chris Paul. So I got the CP3 jersey. And it has the, the OKC logo on there because they were in Oklahoma City, of course, because of Katrina. But, of course, they were the New Orleans Hornets at the time. Now they're back to being the Charlotte Hornets. And, of course, they changed, re they rebranded to the Pelicans. So, yes, CP3. You'll see more CP3 jerseys uh, in a future vid. I have some Authentics and some Swingman, too. Um, the only Vancouver Grizzlies Authentic I have, and it's a Abdul Rahim. Grizzlies in 96-97 season, so it's got the gold logo. I don't have a big country in the collection, but maybe someday. There was a documentary on him uh, a few weeks ago on uh, ESPN that was pretty good. About finding big country. <laughs> uh, Vince Carter, Vince Sanity, of course, congrats on his wonderful career. Just retired recently from the NBA after a long career. Didn't win a chip, but, you know, he had some great moments. And that dunk contest, boy, <laughs> just one of the all-time great performances I ever saw in a dunk contest when he won at uh, Oracle those years ago in the Bay. But that's his rookie jersey. And I got the rookie, uh, of course, I got the rookie home as well on the Authentic. The Dino jersey, love these jer These jerseys I still love. I, I still kind of wish the Raptors would just bring these back and just wear them as, like, as a regular alternate. You know, if, if they're not going to go back to it, just just wear it as a regular alternate because it pops every time they wear it. They wore the purple one. Now this season they were wearing the white one. It pops and the court looks good. It just it brings back memories. So hopefully they kind of adapt it as like a, a permanent like alternate jersey. You know, I think they are going to try to rebrand again. God, how many times does that team have to rebrand? <laughs> you 
you would think that they would just settle on the on the jersey that they won a championship in, but no, now they gotta they're gonna do something. It's all about money, I know, but my God, Toronto, <laughs> Leon. <laughs> Shout out to Leon if he ever sees us. He's, of course, one of the guys in the uh, the group that I just joined uh, recently was the um, the 5950 New Era uh, Collectors Group. Great bunch of guys. Love our Zoom lives we do. And Leon, of course, holds it down for his, his Toronto teams. And I saw Leon in the Mitchell and S group. So, Leon, I know you're more known for the hats, but, you know, you're dabbling there in the Mitchell and S group, you know. Mitchell Ness is a gateway drug to Jersey. Uh, gateway uh, drug to Jerseys, you know. <laughs> so here's the all <coughs> the oh, excuse me, I choked up over that one. Here's the alternate red, Vince Carter, Air Canada. Ah, Leon's dabbling. I tell you, I tell you. Uh, so here's the uh, here, here's the Chris Chris Weber bullets. I know I'm already dripping. It's it's just, uh, I knew it would be a problem up here, but I couldn't put the fan on because <coughs> we're getting through it though. Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, I forgot what the story behind this one is. It does not have the NBA logo. I think they tried to make this to emulate his rookie. Although it does have uh, uh, 94, 95 on there. But it also has the date of his Hall of Fame inception. And I do forget the, the meaning for this. They don't have the NBA logo. It should for that season. But I think they wanted to make it look like a rookie. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to venture. <laughs> it's, uh, but it, it, it is one I picked up at the store some years ago during a sale. And I like it. You know, I always like those, those old uh, style Rockets jerseys from that era. And here's the more cartoony Rockets jersey uh, for Clyde to Glide. And again, as I've said before, uh, in, on the rack, the jerseys are separated by team and for year by team. So... Another Clyde to Glide rookie red uh, Blazers Drexler jersey. I think the only one I need still is the white one. I need the white Drexler. But that one's fake so much. It's another one of those that sometimes it's just hard to tell. I do have one. I kind of think it's a knockoff, but so I'm not sharing it here. But I got it some time ago. It's a hard one to figure sometimes though. Bernard King. New York Knicks, New York, for the New Yorkers in there, J-Dub and, and King Leonidas and all you guys, there you go. I know you guys are long-time suffering Knicks fans, they're, 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 but the Knicks are represented in the Mighty Kingdom. Oh, yes, they are. You saw that already. Now you're seeing it some more. Because I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I'm showing videos here. I'm going to go get a slice. Anyhow, here's the... Uh, Here's the, here's the Mark Jackson, New York, right there. The Nick, I, I have fun with my, my, my New York, my, the, the New Yorkers in the group. Hey, it's nothing but love, guys, but you do understand it's the Philly, New York thing. It's always. <laughs> but I, I do love New York. I have, I have some family there, and I do enjoy going to the Big Apple from time to time. Um. Here is uh, the grandmama. You saw his Hornets. Now here's his Knicks. I and and as others have said, I don't know why they didn't put the finals patch on this one because it's from the the finals year when they lost to the Pacers. Sorry, Knicks fans, but when they <laughs> I'm sorry to the Pacers when they lost to the uh, oh goodness to the Spurs. They beat the Pacers. Then they then they lost to the, to the Spurs. Uh, ni uh, 98-99. So you just saw that Tim Duncan jersey. See, I keep them apart. Because it wouldn't be good to put this one next to that. Timmy! Jersey with the finals. Ah. I better stop. The New Yorkers are going to come after me. King Leonidas is a big guy, too. I, you know, I, I don't want any trouble with him. So I... <laughs> I, I got to be careful. <laughs> I want to still be able to make these videos. <laughs> so anyhow, we're going to move to Minnesota. 
here's the uh, here's the uh, shot to Jake. Here's the Timberwolves. I am partial to wolves. They're my favorite animals. Some of my favorite animals. So anything with wolves on, I'm happy. KG rookie, the blue one. I'm getting the home white one from the candy man. So uh, <laughs> for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'll fill you in another time. But anyhow, there's the uh, there's the blue. They made years ago. They made the the old run of the the home and away KGs. And I have heard that the, the, the newer China run is, is a better, I mean, you, you talk about a reversal, right? Most of the times we're saying, oh, the, the, the old runs are better. The old runs are better. The cuts are better. Well, here's an example where the newer run, the material in the cut is actually better <laughs> than the original run of it, where it had more of a boxy look to it. Nice jersey. I, I've never had it in person. I've seen pics. I've seen it in other guys' collections. But... Apparently the newer run is the one to get because it it's the material is better and the the cut is better more more appropriate to how the wolves wore it back then. Again, this is what I hear. I am not an expert per se to the absolute minute little details. The threat you think a guy with this many jerseys would be, but I slow roll it sometimes. You know, I just like it. If I like it, I I add it to the collection, and that's how it is. Yeah. I know, a Sixers fan holding Celtics jerseys. But here are the <laughs> shout out to Diddy and all you Celtic fans out there. Here, here's your here's Larry Legend. Larry Bird from Boston. Now we go to the Boston part of the collection here with the NBA logo. The only Larry Bird they did, I believe, with the NBA with the uh, with the Jerry West on there was because it's from the 90, 192 season, which I believe was Larry's last season in the NBA. I believe. Oh, I'm melting away, which is good. I can I can lose a few pounds, so maybe this will help. But anyhow, here's the here's the other Boston jersey, Paul Pierce. Here is his his, his finals, Pactica. and uh, there's the uh, cheers. There's the Larry O'Brien. The, the I, I'm not even gonna try to say it with a Boston accent. Larry Larry O'Brien. I don't know. That was horrible. I'm gonna move on. Paul Pierce. You just, you can't say your ass. Don't say the letter ah. <laughs> I know, New York, Boston, oh, it all comes out now. <laughs> Here we go. I have people coming at me from all areas now. <laughs> so here's, uh, <laughs> here's, here's the LeBron James rookie. We're moving on. See, I'm making good good with, with M. Diddy. I'm showing LeBron. Here you go. <laughs> And with King Leonidas, too. Here's LeBron. Here's, here's one of your guys. There's LeBron. <laughs> they try coming at me. I'm going to hold the LeBron jersey in front of <laughs> So that you, won't, you won't hurt a guy with a LeBron jersey, would you? <laughs> here's the, uh, the, the road rookie. And to be honest, I didn't really... like When I first saw these jerseys available like on the Mitchell and S site... I'm like, yeah, oh, it's nice, it's nice, but I'll tell you, when I saw this thing in person, I had to have it. It is really, really, the quality on this, on the LeBron jerseys are really nice. I, at least in my opinion, for what Mitchell Ness did. And I got the, I got the, the, the home rookie. Yeah, I don't have the authentics, I know, I had to go with Mitchell Ness, but it, it, it's how it, it's how it is. <laughs> I have swingmans of them, but I don't have. I never, I, you know, I, I just, I, I was never a big, like, authentic, you know, Jersey buyer. So, you know, I slow roll a lot of the stuff for authentics, but then I get Mitchell and Ness. So, I mean, it, it, take it for what it is. Ah, and then we got the alternate. A lot of people like this one. I think they really hit the nail on the head with it, too. The the feel of it, the, 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 the fabric. It's similar to the KG, uh, the KG, the KD rookie. And actually, they made the mistake because when they made the authentic Kevin Garnett and uh, Stephon Marbury black Timberwolves jerseys, they made it in this kind of dry, almost dry fit esque material. And no, that's not how the Wolves wore it back then. It's supposed to be mesh, so that's hence why I got the the Swingman Garnett in there. But 
Yeah, the, they screwed up with the material of the, the Wolves jerseys, but they did get the get it right with these. Come on, Mitchell and Ness. You know you had one job to do. But anyhow, the <laughs> Mitchell and Ness make mistakes. No, that never happens. Well, I'm going to get myself in trouble. I better keep moving. So here's the... Uh, they're not, they're not going to allow me back at the store. That's not good. There's the... <laughs> yeah, Mar it's that guy. <laughs> Dan Marley, Phoenix Suns. Very nice jersey right there. I always like that scripted Phoenix. Just the font, rather. Uh, I mean, for the Phoenix on the front. And on the names on the back. I just always like that. Got one of these from Candyman. So anyhow... We're moving on. You all, all know what that. Some of you already know what it is. For those who don't, you'll know <laughs> when when the time is right. But here's the here's the Kevin Johnson Phoenix Suns. You know what I had the purple one. I had this one first though. I had the white one. The K. Dot Johnson on the back. Really nice. Okay. Um, full disclaimer. Full disclosure. This is a knockoff, but it's it's in the collection. It's close enough. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get the authentic in it that Mitchell and Ness made because they made a very limited run of them. This is what we call the Mona Chuck. So this Charles Barkley jersey is not authentic, <laughs> but it's as close to it as you can get. There was a run of these that were made for him and I believe Kevin Johnson years ago, and they almost hit it right on the head. There's a few little things, itsy-bitsy details that give it away, but... I have it. I will keep it in the collection because it's close enough. It's probably close I'll, I'll ever get to having the authentic, the Mitchell Ness. But I did a video some time ago that showed how you can tell and just refer back to it. I don't know how to link vids on here. Just go back to the you'll you'll, you'll find it eventually. But it's it's <laughs> it's somewhere in my in my videos uh, history. But there's little things that give this away. But. It's part of the collection. I'm keeping it in here just because it's very close. And, you know, Slim and I, yeah, Big Slim and I, we kind of coined this the Mona Chuck. The Mona Lisa and the Mona Chuck. So, is what it is. Don't hate. I, you know, I had to show it. Full disclosure, it's part of the collection. Uh, I do have a purple one coming, though, from Candyman. But here's the, uh... <laughs> people be like, what's the Candyman? Is it the guy that you say his name three times in the, in, the, in the mirror and then he comes after you with a hook? No, no, not that candy man. I hope not. I haven't tried, though. But anyhow, there's the <laughs> there's the Steve Nash fireball. The heat, it's getting to me. Look, I'm, I'm all perplexed. I'm proclaimed. So uh, anyhow, there's there's Nash. You can't say this, that, that this vid hasn't been entertaining, though. It has been. I made New Yorkers and Bostonians angry at me, but anyhow, there's the uh, the <laughs> the uh, the J Kid Fireball rookie. Oh, I'm sorry, rookie. Yeah, the Heat is gaining me. This is Suns jersey. Of course, his rookie I showed earlier was his Mavericks. <sighs> and we keep going. So here's the. The, the J. Kidd Suns jersey, not to be confused with his rookie jersey, which is over here for the Mavericks. This is a rookie jersey, though. I can say that with, with full, uh, full, full knowledge. This is the Dikembe Mutombo, Mount Mutombo rookie rainbow. Nuggets authentic. There it is. Finger waggle. And there's another rookie behind him. Another pretty iconic jersey. <clears throat> the Big Buck. Ray Ray. Uh, Jesus Shuttleworth. A.K.A. Ray Allen. There he is. This is his uh, rookie Bucks jersey right there. 96-97, of course. Gold logo. What a great draft class that was. My God. Think about that. <laughs> All those guys that came out that year. Nash. Ray Allen, of course. My guy. A.I. My, uh, my guy again, of course. Uh, Kobe. My God. That was a hell of a draft class. Really, really was. Probably for the draft classes that I've seen, probably my all-time, all-time. And I know there's been some good ones since, but that one probably takes the cake for me. I'm a little partial. You might, you, you might, you may excuse me, but you know, Kobe. I went to high school with Kobe. And then AI, of course. I mean, you know, and Ray Ray could shoot the lights out, and of course Nash, the 
Canadian, you know, uh, assist guy, you know. I mean, you, you, you know. That was a hell of a class. And that's just the name those four. There were some other good players in that draft, too. We got the Mountains here, Carl Malone. Shout out to Rez. I know he just made a Carl Malone video with the black uh, alt swingman or the black swing, swingman jerseys. It wasn't the alt at the time. That logo, that, that, that design they had for, for a brief time. But late in his time with the Jazz, I think after that he got traded or went to the Lakers or whatever that was. And I got that one. I got the, I got the mountains in, in the authentic. Isaiah Thomas. Bad Boys Pistons. Got that Joe Dumars, Bad Boys Pistons, The Road. You might remember I have the white one, the home white. The Worm, Dennis Rodman, Bad Boys Pistons. I spent a little time with the Sixers in his career, but of course Rick Mahorn, the enforcer, one of the enforcers, right? I should say, on that Bad Boys Pistons team. Grant Hill, Teal. Shot the big baby, everyone holding it down in Motor City. There's the hill. Of course, for all these Pistons jerseys, you guys know. Of course, Philly's own, Ball Don't Lie. Rasheed Wallace, the finals. Larry O'Brien right there. Um, yeah, this is the do 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 the the oh no, the 2003-2004 season, of course, the finals where they beat the Lakers. I'm melting, melting. Oh, what a world. I'm trying, guys. I'm getting through it. <laughs> See the things I do for all of you? You lucky people, you. So here's the, here's the Penny Hardaway uh, magic, the home magic pinstripe. Here's the Penny Hardaway, the alternate blue pinstripe magic. And this is an older China run, but still a China run. Uh, Penny Hardaway. I want to say this is like the original run of it, if I'm not mistaken. Orlando Magic. The black with, of course, the pinstripes. One of their more iconic jerseys. There's always like the black one. The blues are nice, the, the white, but the black, it just really sets it all off really nice. And this is the jersey, believe it or not, that really started getting me going after the NBA jerseys. For Mitchell and Ness, the Shack, because I got this at the store during a sale years ago, and before that, I was mainly for Mitchell and Ness. I was mainly getting uh, baseball and football, but after I got this in my hands, I'm like, oh, I gotta get some of those basketballs, and well, it it, it grew after that. <laughs> so we're now basketball is one of the the dominant uh, the one of the dominant sports in my collection. It, it's, it's weird how things work out. And here's the All-Star uh, in Phoenix. So this is the 94-95. <coughs> it's the only one I have. I don't, they, they made Pippin and Marley. I don't have those. But I have the Shaq Daddy right there. I got Magic. The Magic Man. This is his All-Star. This is his eight, uh, 83 All-Star. Jersey just really love the, sh the, the, the the shine on that, <laughs> on the pressed uh, uh, lettering on there. As everything is heat pressed on. And I got his, I still have to get his Olympic jerseys, but I got all the All-Stars. I got all the Lakers home and away. So I got the, the 91 All-Star. E. Dot Johnson on the back. I still have to get his Olympic jerseys. I have to get his Dream Team jerseys, too. 
Uh, and of course, still have, I do have to get the home Jordan Dream Team. I do have the road, but big game, James Worthy. Showtime Lakers right there. Shot the pistol and all you Laker fans out there. Borsch, all you guys. James King. I mean, we have so many Laker guys in our group. So shout out to all of you. Shaq Daddy. The uh, 2000 Finals. It's a harder one. It's getting to be one of those hard ones to get. I'm glad I was able to procure one. And then I have the Sunday Whites for Shaq. I don't have the Kobe. I still want to get the Kobe, but I got Shaq. And, of course, rest in peace, Mamba. Here's his rookie gold, 96-97 gold logo. Jersey. And the only All-Star I have for Kobe is his first All-Star game, uh, 98. The Road Purple Lakers, number 8 from 98. <laughs> of course, they made him an MJ for that game. I got both of those. I got MJ and I got Kobe. And I got his 2000 Finals. His first championship. And Shaq, too, was his first. Of course, he went to the final Shaq did against the Rockets. Lost to them in 95, but then won the title in 2000 with the Lakers against the Pacers. See, that time I got it right. It was against the Pacers that time. The Knicks, of course, couldn't play the Pacers in the finals because they're both in, both in the Eastern Conference Finals. There should be, like, mighty fan notes at the bottom. <laughs> For the mistakes I make every now and then. Now, Mitchell Ness made two of these. This was the original, the throwback alternate Showtime era jersey they made for Kobe 24, uh, 07 08. But of course, the Lakers celebrated their 60th anniversary that year. So the original version of this jersey, they did not put the 60 patch on. But I kept it as is, just, you know, because. So then. A little time later, they would reissue it with the 60. <laughs> and there it is with the 60. Mitchell and Ness make mistakes? No, they never make mistakes. Never make mistakes. Oh, you know what I did forget to do in this vid is my customary... <sighs> yeah, I know. I should do it more because I'm really feeling it right now. <laughs> So here are the Swingmans. So you got the 96 All-Star Penny. So they didn't do the authentic. They never made an authentic in this one. There's quite a few players they did in Swingman form that they did not do an authentic form for that 96 game. I still want to get the Shaq, but there's Penny. And, oh, we're going back to New York. Here we go. Charles Oakley, the Oak Man. Oak! There he is. Let him back in the building. Here he hits his Knicks jersey. Here's Mace. Anthony Mason. Rest in peace, of course. Number 14. Ah, oh, now we're going back to the Bay. We're going back to Rez's area. Here we go. The Mitch Richmond. Uh, uh, Warriors, of course, it does not have the captaincy because in swingman form they didn't put the captaincy on it. I'm sure it's an easy enough thing to put on, but. And we got the killer crossover right here Tim Hardaway, dubstep, two step. And we got the rookie home, Mount Matumbo. They did not make this in authentic form. I got the swingman of it. I know Rez is not a fan of their more recent swingmans because they don't stitch it. Um, 
And it's one of those things, it's, hey, it's, it, it, it's either you're going to like them or you're not. If it's just not for you, you don't buy them. But for me, and I will normally get Authentics, but if I like a jersey, I like a jersey. You know, Carmelone, of course, Mailman, uh, Jazz. So I understand the, the reasoning for people not to get the Swingman jerseys, and that's fine. It, it's, it's all personal opinion. And there's only really a few others that I would like to get, some of those Raptors ones and stuff like that. But, you know, I can understand it. I mean, look, for the price point at, what are they, 130 you know, not the half-stitched. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they still keep them at those prices. I don't buy them at those prices. I always get a deal. I always get them on sale or from a secondary market like an eBay or something or from, you know, another source. But, so I can honestly understand it. It is what it is. I don't work for the company. <laughs> so I can't speak to why they're doing things the way they're doing them, but Mountains, Utah Jazz, John Stockton. But I get it. I completely understand, Rez. You certainly are right for your opinion, and that was an awesome jer uh, vid you did and, and the, you know, the breakdown of it. But for me, the way I see it, I'm not paying those prices for it anyhow, and no one's looking at the inside of the jersey when I'm wearing it. So whether it's stitched or not, if I just, it, in my opinion, if I like it, I'm going to get it. If I can get a, a good deal, a deal on it, and I like the jersey, I'm going to have it. I will always have more authentics than Swingman, but it's just one of those things. Grand Hill alternate. But I, I totally, you know, again, I, I totally get it. I understand what the frustration is. To me, they should lower the prices. I mean, you know, maybe 100 bucks a pop, or maybe if they even want to go to, like, BP levels and go like 80 or 90 or whatever, you know, I think that would be fine. But the home hill, I, I don't work for the company, so I can't really tell it. You know, us in the Jersey Heads community, we always suggest things to them. And we're always, you know, whether they like it or not, we're always giving our opinion. And, you know, because they are one of the biggest brands that make the product that we love, we're going to have our opinions on things. And, you know, I, I totally get it. And, and it's, it's one of those things where, unfortunately, they just don't listen to us. So we can complain till our, we're blue in the face or red in the face like I am now and just the total dripping mess right now. Or, <laughs> but we, it, as, as, a, as, as the human being, we are opinionated people. So we will always have opinions, good or bad, whether they hit something on the head, whether, oh, they could do this better, they could do that better. And I do wish they would listen to us most, uh, more often, I should say, because we're the ones that bought, consume their product probably more than anyone else. You know, collectors are always looking, and we're always looking for that next item. And if Mitchell and Ness is still popping out things that we like, odds are most of the time we're going to get it. And then we debate. <laughs> afterwards whether it was worth to get or not but unfortunately and I, i'm just saying this again this is my opinion speaking of opinion my opinion is they don't listen to us they're too busy in their corporate world they're too busy thinking about what next crazy uh stars and stripes or you know, uh, pajama, swingman jersey they want to make, style jersey they want to make, all, which I don't have any of those, you notice. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, look, I would rather these than those crazy designs that somehow sell. I don't know how. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if, <clears throat> excuse me, if they didn't sell, they would not They would stop making the damn things. But it, again, it's not for me. If it's for you... If you are one of those people with a collection of just nothing but Swingman, Mitchell and Ness, crazy collab, pajama, you know, stars and stripes, or, you know, whatever the, 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 the flavor of the month is that they like to put out there, that's fine. I'm not hating on you. You know, you do you, do you I do me. Okay, so, but that's just an example of where Mitchell and Ness doesn't listen to us, because in the Jersey Heads community, we have complained about those jerseys. Time and time and time and time and time again with the why. Why are you doing this? Why are you making these atrocities? And they keep making them because they're selling. <laughs> so somewhere there's a market for them. They're not in the mighty kingdom. 
And I know they're not in a lot of our Jersey Heads co uh, communities, you know, collections, but it, it is what it is. But the, but this, the Swingman line, I think there is a place for them. And I do understand with Rez, I, I mean, this one, this one is stitched, the Steph's father, the Del Curry. But anymore, they make them where they're not stitched. And and then stitch me, it's, it's just a single layer stitching. It's not like crazy, like the authentics you'll have, the multi layer, the this and that, the, cris the crossing, the you know all the dazzle twill and all. They're never gonna act crazy with it, and they never did. But at least the original run of Swingmans they made were single stitched, where everywhere you saw a number or a, or a letter, it was single stitched on generically. You know nothing too crazy. I don't even know if it would show very well in here, but. You can see that and then they stopped doing it and i don't know why and it is cost cutting or just so they can pump them out quicker or whatever the reason was now you see them and they're all pressed on now swingman jerseys actually back in the day there were some that were like nike made some and what have you but it might be a cost cutting thing i have no idea i don't work for the business um obviously i don't make jerseys so i don't know but they stopped doing them stitched and they started doing them like this. So this is the Lou Hudson that I just picked up off of sale. Again, keyword off of sale. I do not pay retail for this stuff where I can avoid it. But as you notice, they're not stitched anymore. It's all pressed onto the material. And of course, there's problems with that. If you wash these jerseys a few times, there might be peeling. There might be, you know, just wear and tear. Um... When you have a collection like I do, and it's very large, the odds of me wearing the same jersey multiple times in the same year even might be very remote. <laughs> so I don't really have to worry about washing them that, that much. I mean, b besides how I look right now, I'm probably not going to go like uh, this. Is see this this is this is why I'm not wearing a jersey right now because I know when I'm up here it's hot. I'm making it and I'm going to sweat. So I'd rather sweat through a shirt than a jersey. And yeah. I've, Pretty much, this was royal blue at one point, now it's dark blue. But anyhow, the, <laughs> the point being, though, is that I, you know, I, I might wear this particular jersey maybe once in a year. So there's really no need, unless somehow it gets dirty or scuffed or something, which rarely happens because I'm very careful, as any good jersey head is with their jerseys. When we go to eat somewhere, we make sure... We're very particular in even how we eat. It, it's it's a thing. It's a thing because we don't want anything getting on our jerseys, and, and sometimes it's unavoidable. But the, again, the the main point is I don't wear. I'm not going to wear this particular jersey multiple times in the year. So the odds of me having to wash this is is remote. So I don't have to worry as much for this peeling or everything else like some people might, because I'm just not going to wear it enough for it, you know. But um. It's part of the collection. I'm glad I have it. I do understand what people say about the, they're, they're cheapening it. They're, you know, not stitching it. And I, again, I don't know why they made that decision. The, the only thing I can think of is just a cost cutting way. It's because these sell so well, they're just trying to pump them out even more. I don't know. I, and I wish they did. I do. I wish they would single stitch these again. But again, I don't work for the company. Don't let that big Mitchell on this banner over the doorway fool you <laughs> i don't work for the company i'm a fan i'm a collector that's as far as i go i didn't want to get off on a tangent on that but again it, you know i understand i understand the feelings and, and look we all we have feelings for it because we're passionate about it. we love this stuff we live for this you know so we we're the ones that care about this stuff more than you know even the employees at the store do you know so we 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 get it you know we're all about that life you know so when we say something we would hope that our voices would carry we would hope that our voices would mean something to the company but unfortunately i just don't think they do i just don't think they do because they're just worried about what they're doing they're not worried about what mighty fan or res or throwback king or any of us that have been in this game for years, have been in YouTube for years, have been on Facebook and the groups and doing all this stuff and having this great, powerful community, what we've done, what we've built. But unfortunately, the company just, you know, they, 
they're not they're they're not about us you know it's it's unfortunate it really is because they could use us they can collab with us you know they can get our opinions on what we would like to see done and how the jerseys should be produced i mean you got guys in the group that make jerseys you know that, that they they're in the, the that's what they do and you know for for a big company like mitchell and ness to kind of have an oversight on that you know where you have some of these sneaker companies reaching out to the fans and you have some of these other companies that the lid the new era you know, reaching out to fans and doing stuff like that, I, that's awesome, you know. And it's not to say it will be the cure-all. Yeah, it would never be. But it would be at least nice if they would throw us a carrot every now and then and get our opinions on things. But it's, not, it's just not how the company rolls. It's a very cold business. The retail industry is very cold. It's one of the reasons I'm not in it, because I know. You know, it's like one of those things, this is a passion for me. But if I tried to do this for a living, if I tried to do this as a job, I would, I would have no passion for it. So in some ways, I can see that other side of it because I just, I just have the passion for collecting. I just have the passion. I love these things. You know, I want to collect them. And as you can see, you just surround myself with them. You know, I, I mean, hell, I have a second floor of the house devoted to jerseys. How many people <laughs> can, can say that? And I'm, again, I'm not putting myself on a pedestal. I'm not saying my collection is the best collection in the world because it's not. And I, I don't care. I've always said this. I have probably over 900 jerseys in the collection. I know it's a big number. <laughs> but I've been collecting for over 15 years. Okay? I have a very large collection. But it doesn't matter to me. And I'm sorry if I'm going on a soapbox here. It doesn't matter to me if you have two jerseys in your collection or over 900. My buddy Big Slim has 1,300. Whatever it is, whatever his number is, it doesn't matter the number. It's the passion. It's what you put into it. And that's the most important thing. Whether our voices are never heard by Mitchell and Ness or Nike or any of these other companies, and you know, you have a passion for it. You bring your own, you know, uh, personality to the game. You 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 bring yourself into it. You you you. It's part of you. Because if it wasn't, you wouldn't do it. And if Mitchell and Ness never watches my videos or never listens to anything that I have to say about how they could be doing this better, why they didn't make the Steph Curry, San Francisco Warriors <laughs> throwback jersey, you know, uh, to this point or whatever, or other jersey, you know, at the end of the day, whatever. It, 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 it's literally sweat off my back because I... <laughs> Because I'm always going to have a passion for this. And I do it my way. You know, this is the Mighty Fan way. So, but it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate that they haven't really adapted to what some other companies have done. You know, and actually coming out to the fans, reaching out to the fans and collectors and, you know, having Zoom meetings with us or something like that. It just, but it is what it is. And you know what? But Rez, you and Throwback King and, and all those guys that had problems with the, with the jerseys when they come in the mail and the, the scuffs and the, the, the stains and all this crazy stuff that's been going on, I, I absolutely feel you on that. I wish they would be better getting back to you guys, communicating with you guys, and, and fixing the problems. But at the end of the day, you know, our hands are, our hands are tied. It's a shame. It is a shame. But... What I will say this in closing for this little speech I've done is that I know this. It, if Mitchell and this never listens to us, we have us. We have this community. This community is a great, strong community. And we have the passion for it. We have the passion for what we do. And we have the passion for being in the group together and knowing each other. Because you all are like family to me. And I've said that to you guys. I've said that to the hat guys. And it's true. It's family. At the end of the day, it's family. And, and that's what makes me happy. Mitchell Ness never hears me. Knowing that I know you guys and made the personal connections I have with you guys, that's what means more to me than any company. You know, and that's 100%. So anyhow, let's get back to the... <laughs> Here's Spud Webb. <laughs> so this is what I mentioned. And so the Hawks, see, the, the Authentics, they didn't do this. They put the little beak, you know, it's down on the floor. The Authentic didn't do this. The Swingman did. So I got the Swingman. I do have the Authentic in the home. And you saw that before. But 
the the uh, the swing man they put the little beak on the floor <laughs> as they did for the Dominique Wilkins authentics. They didn't do it for Spud. I don't know why, but so I got Spud. All right, guys, we only have a few more here. Woo! But as you can see, the beauty of these big Z bottom racks, I will always recommend these to anyone. And then Big Slim got me uh, uh, hooked on these. So shout out to him. And I definitely recommend, look at all these. Look at all you can fit on there. And it's still saying you can put more on me. So <laughs> it's not done. So I, all, I absolutely recommend these. They're a little pricey. And sometimes you get deals, you just look around. But they are worth every penny because they are sturdy and you can put, I mean, my whole freaking China run Mitchell and S collection for NBA is on one Z bottom rack. And it's still saying you can add more, Mighty Fan. Go ahead. I'm here. I'm ready. <laughs> so, absolutely, I would recommend them. And even if you have a smaller collection, if you're just one of those like me that's like, I got to add, 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 get one, get started early. Get one of these in your room or wherever you're going to house your collection, and just whatever you put on there, and you just add to it, you know? So here's the uh, plastic man right here, Stacy Ogman, swing man. <clears throat> Big O, Oscar Robertson. I do have the authentic white in this, but I did get the swing man. We got the Mike Bibby, home, Vancouver Grizzlies. They have yet to make an authentic Mike Bibby Grizzlies. But they made the home and away for the swingman line. And this is what I mean. So this is the, the last one here is the KG, the black Timberwolves alt jersey. So the authentic they made in these was more of that almost like a, uh, the, the, the material, like almost like a dry fit material. And it's more of the 2000s material. And they made it on a 90s jersey. So I went ahead and I got the swingman of it. Because the material is more mesh. And it's more accurate to how the Timberwolves wore it back then. So it is what it is. I still have to get a Mulberry. But I got KG. There's a nice uh, Mulberry documentary actually right now on, on Netflix. And I would recommend it. It's very good so far. I still have to finish it. Uh, I got kind of tied up in other things as I started it yesterday, but what I've seen so far of it, I'm about a quarter of a way into it. I really like it. It's, it's, it's very well done. And, uh, you know, he was, he was a good player. You know, he was a good player, uh, Stephon Marbury back in the day. And, uh, you know, so definitely recommend it if you're, you know, hoop head, you know, someone that remembers Steph back in the day, you know, feel free to check it out. I forget exactly what it's called. If someone knows, please put it in the notes. Or comments rather below. Um, very good so far though. I've enjoyed it um, to this point. So I still have to get his uh, Timberwolves jersey. Um, but yeah, so that is it. There is no more. That's the full run. You saw it all. The the China Run NBA uh, from the Authentics to the Swingmans. I don't believe I have any of the Vietnam jerseys that have come out in recent time. But I kind of have to look back <laughs> and see. Yeah. I'm going to go take a shower. So I'm going <laughs> to, it feels like I just took two of them, but I, I am going to go for now, but I thank you all. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry. I got on my soapbox there for a bit. You know, I just have the passion for this stuff. I really do. Um, you know, but, um, I, I, I thank you all who've joined me here for over an hour. My goodness, but I did have a lot to show. Uh, this is, uh, probably the last of the big, the, well, it is the last of the Z bot racks to show um i do have my non mitchell nest jerseys right here you're kind of seeing the the rack here i will show them in my next vid and then i have to go over the bulls closet again i've done that before but it's been added to so i gotta <laughs> show you the most up to date and then after that i guess uh we'll, we'll, you know at some point i'll get into hockey but i'm gonna wait yeah i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait till it's it, it's the, the fall time and it's not so so humid up here uh, so I'll get to hockey then, and I'll, I will show the Philly sports. Uh, I know people have been asking, and certainly, I mean, come on, I had plenty of, oh boy. <laughs> this is like a rag at this point, but no, I have plenty of Philly love for my hometown teams, and I got all this stuff for all the jerseys down to Man Cave area, so I will finish with those. Uh, maybe I'll show those before hockey, 
I'll get that done and then I'll show hockey at the end in the fall when it's cooler and I can be up here without becoming a human Niagara Falls. So anyhow, I'm, that's going to do it for me for now. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for joining in. You all take care out there. Be safe. And uh, uh, shouts to all you guys, all my fellow Jersey heads, of course. Great stuff for all of you guys and your vids too. I mean, Rez with the, with the, uh, with the, with the, with with all the different stuff he does in his vids, and of course, Throwback King and King Leonidas and all you guys, just awesome stuff. See, I don't put a lot of bells and whistles in my stuff. It's just here I am. Here's my stuff. <laughs> I need Rez to be like an editor for me or something to <laughs> edit my videos or something, but. Uh, <laughs> But you guys keep up the great work with all you guys do. And I will see you guys on YouTube. And, of course, I'll see you guys in the groups. You all take care. And as I always say, of course, as the big spiel on YouTube is, if you haven't done so already, feel free to su subscribe to The Sweaty Man. And, <laughs> I mean, Mighty Fan. Make sure you subscribe to me uh, for my channel. And there will be plenty more content to come. Uh, yeah, like, of course, leave that like, forget the, forget that, just leave that. Cause if you leave that, I know you're just hating. So just, you know, go ahead and that. So just leave the like, feel free to comment below with whatever the opinion, you know, you, you have or the video for the collection, whatever, you know, uh, always welcome. And, um, once you do subscribe, of course, hit the bell icon. So you'll be alerted right away when yours truly makes these wonderful videos. <laughs> I will see you all in the next one. You all take care and be safe. This is my fan saying peace. I, I gotta get that shower. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>